here we are at the end of this uh, amazingly fun conference. Throughout the day, we definitely had the opportunity to meet absolutely terrific people and see incredibly impressive code. I think Lambda Commod is right, isn't it? Now, I know you're all eager to see me yelling during a tribal dance, trying to mimic uh, this guy, <laughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure you'll forgive me if I don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, all this fun has been possible thanks to our sponsors that spread the word about LambdaCon and help us to have, uh, uh, sorry, help us to have uh, venue, video recordings, coffee breaks, and backup equipment. A special mentions, mention deserves Nicola Baldi, a friend, colleague, and mentor, who was always on hand when needed. And I have to say, uh, we definitely appreciated the kind and supportive approach of uh, Thomas Borek, one of the speakers. <laughs> His suggestions and advice. Thank you so much, Tomek. However, we are most grateful to you, the attendees who made this event really, really awesome. And buying your ticket provided lunch break, t-shirts, flyers, passes, and schedules to all of us. But, uh, thank you. But, how did the idea of LambdaCon come about? Once upon a time, there was a guy, well, a geek, who was eager to share his knowledge and learn from the others. So he and some fellow programmers founded a community named Coders UG with the aim of learning through sharing. When he got in touch with functional programming, he thought it could be nice to talk about it in a safe and uh, familiar environment. He said, yeah, I can do something like this. And uh, even if he wasn't referring to gardening for dummies, but uh, obviously to recursive drawing and fractals for his dojos, the first reaction was, depending on the language, what? Why don't we organize something bigger? In uh, Clojure, Erlang, Elixir, F-sharp, Haskell and Scala. Sorry for the other languages. Uh, but there was a misunderstanding. Since I strongly believe in what William Faulkner said, always dream and shoot higher than you know you can do, I was thinking to something, uh, let me say, really huge like this. Whereas the idea was more similar to something uh, like this. Luckily enough, as soon as our site was up and running, uh, a strange social phenomenon happened. And uh, people went crazy about LambdaCon, unbelievable. We had a lot, we started receiving a lot of session proposals from uh, speakers, people coming from all over the world, willing to spread their knowledge upon no payment or reimbursement. We selected 26 speakers, giving 28 talks and two workshops. And we had a lot of attendees registering from all over the world, even if most from Europe. We finally did, made it to organized a 280 people event, and this was our first event ever. Thank you. Unfortunately, our adventure has come to an end, and uh, even if we did our best, we know everything is perfectible, and we need your help. So please, leave your feedback on Join the Team. Now, let me ask LambdaCon organizers and after speakers to come on stage. So you can take a lot of pictures. And uh, I would say to, to conclude, may the fun be with you. Thank you.